Okay, I want you to picture this, okay? You're at home, you're with your family. It's the night before Christmas Eve. You're gearing up for the holidays. There's a blizzard swirling outside your window. You spend the afternoon, I don't know, making chili. You settle in with your kids on the couch. You're gonna watch a movie because you know you're not going anywhere. There's a storm outside. And then, bang on the window. That's what you hear. So you go to your door, you open the door, and all of a sudden there are 10 people asking for help. What would you do? Well, let's ask Denny Vervate because this is his story and he's in the studio with us this morning. I can't even believe it. Yeah, it was super crazy. The, the storm outside was, it was a blizzard. Like you couldn't see, you couldn't see across the street. So, so this uh, is Blenheim, so you live in Blenheim, Ontario. Yeah. Okay, and so yeah, tell me about what the storm looked like at that moment. Uh, I couldn't even see across the yard. Uh, we see very few cars going by. Uh, just blistery, I've never seen a storm like this before. So what were you doing? So you were sitting there, what movie were you gonna watch? We I was downstairs with the kids. We were probably watching some romantic comedy because I lost. I have three girls. <laughs> so I uh, go upstairs to uh, check on the chili yeah. that I've been making. It was random that I even made a chili that day, yeah. like at 3 p.m. And at 5, I check upstairs and uh, I hear like a tapping on the window. Yeah. I thought it was like a branch, but uh, I open the front door and there's like a six foot drift. No way. And there's a woman standing there like cool. shivering and she's hyperventilating. She, oh, I didn't wow. know what she was saying. So I had to you know, bring her in and calm her down and figure out what was going on. And then what was she saying? She was saying her family's stuck. They were tra traveling from Toronto to Windsor and uh, they're right outside and I couldn't even see the car and it was like right out front of our house yeah. uh, with her family. There was a baby inside. Oh. Uh, so we get everyone in and uh, then- So you said to her, said go get your family and bring them in? Bring them in. Let's come inside, get and out then... of the cold and you're gonna have a place to stay tonight. Okay. So there, how do you go from, okay, so how many people came into the house? At that moment, there was yeah. five. There were five, and yeah. there were more after that? We were talking with them, so they, they have, um, their first language is, is French. Yeah. Uh, so they were speaking English and translating, and <gasps> we're just trying to figure out what's going on by uh, talking with, getting them inside. There's 10 of them in two other cars that were stuck wow. in ditches. Wow, so then you have 10 people. This is a great picture, by yeah. the way. So you have these 10 people, you invite them in. And then you start, did you speak French? Uh, my daughter can say a couple words, but I don't speak any French. So, so how were you able to communicate? Uh, well, their daughters speak really good English. Okay. So um, there was translation going on and, and uh, no, it was just nice to get them out of the cold. Yeah, and they must have been so thankful. Yeah, yeah, they were. Uh, so, so how do you go from inviting the, these people in to you know, stay at our house for the night? Well, it's a blizzard. Like I hope that anyone would do the same thing. So it's, uh, it's, it, they were stuck in ditches. Like yeah. I didn't want them, you know, staying in their cars. Like that's the emergency services even couldn't even get to everyone. So uh, it was lucky that they were passing by. Um, I make a good chili, so maybe well, someone you... tipped them off. That... <laughs> they could smell the chili. <laughs> uh, so and you had enough for everybody. Yeah, there was there was lots of food and. Uh, Luckily, that, uh, they are getting out of the cold and uh, had a good time with us. They played some cards with the kids. and Yeah, tell me about night. what you guys did. So you, you sat them down, you gave them some, some warm food to eat. And then what did you guys do? What games did you play? Uh, the, kid, the girls played Uno with their kids. And okay. uh, uh, we live right beside our, our business, our brewery. So I actually took a couple of them over, Charles and yeah. his sister, to, to take a look, look around. Hello, and, Cindy. Uh, Hello, Cindy. Oh. Hi. oh, we're looking at the video right now. So they sent us uh, a Christmas message uh, when they got to Windsor. Oh. And let's listen for a second. And uh, yeah, we got a few words for you. Yeah, uh, we really, we're really grateful for you guys. Uh, we spent a great Christmas because of you, and you are literally our Christmas miracle. He's calling you a Christmas miracle. I love playing with your friendly kids, Carmen, Anna, oh, so and. Sweet. So you wake up the next morning, and then and then did you help them get unstuck? What happened? So yeah, they're one. They're both cars are close by, but still far enough away that it was still a blizzard the next day. So my father-in-law grabbed the tractor nice. and uh, we pulled them out because who knows how long it would take for you know the tow services to get get around. So um, we got them unstuck and they made it to Windsor. Are you guys going to keep in touch? What's yes, we definitely will, yeah. Yeah? yeah. Uh, what a story. What an incredible story. And for your girls, too, uh, to welcome in a Christmas miracle, as they call it. How great, Danny. Thank you so much for coming in and sharing your story yeah, with us. Worth, That's awesome. Hey, thanks for watching. If you liked this, be sure to subscribe here, or you can check out more Your Morning videos right here.